The holiday season can be full of festive cheer and family gatherings, but it's also associated with a spike in heart attacks. Joining us this morning with some reasons why we may see that rise is ER doctor, Dr. Marjan Fariba. Dr. Fariba, good morning. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you very much for your invitation. Of course. So how much more prevalent are heart attacks during this time of year? Unfortunately, December is the deadliest month of the year for heart patients. About 25% increased risk of uh, heart attack during the holiday season. And unfortunately, even more increase in risk of death from these heart attacks. Why is that? Well, um, stress is a very common factor, as well as uh, poor dietary habits and partying and all the things that people do. You know, stress, people, it's a festive one, people want to get together with family, but unfortunately, a lot of times these activities are around food. So dietary indiscretion, they forget to take their medications, their sleep habits change, and uh, they party a little too much. Okay, you have to throw that party in there for sure because there's a lot of that that happens in the month of December. What are some symptoms that people should be watching out for? So these symptoms are the same as for anyone with a heart attack. Chest pain, chest pressure, that's still the most common. However, what people forget to recognize is that chest pain is not defined certain way for everyone. So any discomfort in the chest is considered pain. It doesn't have to be excruciating, it doesn't have to be terrible or the worst pain, but just some discomfort that's not there, that wasn't there before. and. If it's related to activity, definitely something to be concerned about. Shortness of breath, dizziness, feeling very weak and tired and exhaustion. Um, those are all some of the common symptoms of uh, heart attack. Jaw pain um, are very common as well. Are there different symptoms for women and men though? Uh, there are some differences, not as much as people think. The problem with women is that they don't think about something is going on with their heart. Men know that heart attack is the number one killer for men. However, even though it is still the number one killer for women, women don't recognize that. So they don't think about it. Still chest pressure. However, more symptoms of fatigue and nausea and just uh, not feeling good and shortness of breath. Chest pain is still there except people and women don't think about this discomfort they're experiencing as chest pain. Dr. Fariba, we've got about 30 seconds here. How should people go about lowering their risk? So be present, take care of yourself by, you know, take care of your loved ones by taking care of yourself. If you feel any discomfort, think about going to the emergency room. You're not going to inconvenient people by taking care of yourself. And be more present and enjoy experiences with people. Instead of partying around food, maybe party around going on a walk, you know, make it a family tradition that after a meal, you go with, for a walk with your family members and just be present. Be here now. A lot of good information. All right, Dr. Fariba, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.